We all know that in society, all the resources belong to capitalists, so we have to work for them in exchange for money so we can buy the things we need to survive from another capitalist. But how did these capitalists get all the food and other resources? And this is the secret of primitive accumulation. In medieval feudal Europe, most people were peasants. They lived in cottages like this and worked the land around it. They'd grow what they needed to survive, and then the surplus would go to the king in exchange for protection. But as machine technology became a thing, as well as wage labor, capitalists realized if they drove all the peasants off the land and then owned the land, they could pay people to work on it, take the product, sell it for a profit. We know how it works. But what this did was it made it so workers could no longer create their own means of subsistence, the things they need to survive. Which means their only option was to sell their labor, the only commodity they had left, to a capitalist in exchange for money. The expropriation of land and inception of machine agriculture also drove the agricultural population into the cities. And this created a labor market for the industrial capitalists who were setting up factories in the cities. So you can't even have a labor market unless there's a mass of unemployed people. That provides the supply for capitalists. This is why capitalism never reaches 0% unemployment in countries like Chile shot up in unemployment after US-backed coups and the implementation of neoliberal economics. So that's partially how capitalists got all the stuff in Europe, in addition to their colonies in India and elsewhere. But what about the U.S.? Well, when those Europeans came over to the U.S., they realized there were indigenous people here who were working the land. So they were genocided and enslaved, an example being Andrew Jackson's 1830 Indian Removal Act. But the U.S. didn't have a surplus population, so who did they get to do all the labor? They used slaves, stolen from their homeland, shipped across the ocean, and forced into hard labor. While wage laborers work under the threat of starvation, slaves work under the threat of torture. And the American South generated massive amounts of capital, not only for the capitalists in Europe, but the capitalists in the American North who were also expanding their territory. That is primitive accumulation in the U.S., and that is how the capitalists got all their stuff. But while the original crime was a few amount of people expropriating the land from the masses, the exact opposite is the solution. The masses need to expropriate the land from the few people who hoard it. Socialism.